Good morning, Lake Placid High School. Welcome back to another episode of DNN. Thank you for tuning in to DNN with Jaylee Brantner, Kylie Bear, Trevor Kesterson with weather, and Luke Nielsen on sports. Current juniors will be scheduling their classes on Monday, February 24th at 6. Current sophomores, sophomores on Tuesday, March 3rd at 6. Current freshmen on Monday, March 9th at 6. And current 8th graders, Monday, March 23rd at 6. South Florida State College is holding their Minority Male Initiative on Friday, February 28th from 9 a.m. until noon at Avon Park Campus. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors are welcome to attend. You will be able to interact with current students and recent graduates. Learn about educational opportunities, financial aid, athletics, military, and more. Lunch will be provided, and you can enter for a chance to win a $500 scholarship for your while you are there. For more information, contact Tom Bohan at 863-784-7447. This year, 2.2 million fewer men than women will enroll in a college. Don't get left behind. You can go places with a college education. The University of Florida, UF, is offering a summer program for students that are going to attend UF and are interested in engineering, successfully transition and enhance preparation for our undergraduates program, Step Up, recognizes talented students and provides them with enriching academics, professional and personal development experiences that promote success in engineering. catch. Thanks, Jaylee. If anyone is interested in taking a lifeguard class and become certified lifeguard, please see Ms. Rivers for information. Classes start March 23rd at Sebring High School. Seniors, our first round of scholarships deadlines are quickly approaching. Be an early bird and get your applications turned into Ms. Burnett in the college resource room for these amazing opportunities. National Honor Society Lake Classic Garden Club covered bridge academic and Vacational, Caladium Arts and Crafts, Mason G. Smoke, Rob Reynolds, and Tomoka Heights Dragon Bank is giving away $5 as a bonus for each student that comes in and opens a new savings account with $10 or more. This bonus is good for the first 40 counts during the month of February. Stop by the Dragon Bank and don't forget, get your lunch started today. Hey everybody, welcome to Word of the Week with Mr. Harris once again. Hopefully you had a great time at the fair or had a great four-day weekend. Uh, I know I did, uh, but anyway, on to better things. Here we go. Our Word of the Week this week is grit. All right, grit, G-R-I-T, and it means to have courage and resolve or strength of character. And the reason why I'm bringing that word to you today is to ask you how much grit do you have? Do you have resolve to finish assignments, to see things through, or do you just kind of go through the motions and just get it done to get it done, right? So again, ask yourself, how much grit do you have? How much determination are you willing to put forth to get something accomplished, whether it's a silly assignment in English, or maybe it's a really hard paper that you got to do in a history class or something like that. So again, the word is grit, to have courage and resolve to see something all the way through. And remember, have a great day if you want to. Good afternoon, Lake Placid High School. Welcome back to another edition of This Week in History. Hope you guys all had a nice, long weekend. 
For this week in history, we're going to go way, way, way back to the 17th, uh, 17th century, all the way back to 1688, and it was on this date, February 18th, that the Quakers in Germantown, Pennsylvania, actually adopted the first anti-slavery resolution. This was pretty much unheard of entirely in the Americas at the time, and really it's one of the first places in the world to adopt such a resolution that would abolish slavery in that region. Of course, Pennsylvania would eventually become the first state in the United States to end slavery or abolish slavery, and they did that during the American Revolution. So this is even going back before the United States existed. I always found that one pretty interesting. That's all I have for you guys for today. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the week. Um, otherwise, just maintain integrity out there, guys. Take care. The snowball's flying all over the place. Hey, I got some egg exciting news for you. Uh, don't always have your eggs all in one basket, so that's exciting. And don't forget, you can also brush up on your skills. Great little DNN fact for you. If you drop an Oreo, you can still safely eat two thirds of it. And right there it is on the floor. So if you're hungry, you can still roll out with it. Guys, not much rain this week, looking nice for us. A lot of flooding rains though uh, north and we're going to take a, some looks at some pictures here in a minute. Our highs are beautiful, 85, 86 degrees. Florida is, is nice. We start getting up north though, we're still getting some cold temperatures. In fact, in Tulsa, Tulsa, 31 degrees. That's the low. Some crazy stuff. All right, Captain's Weather flying at you here. 82, as you can see, are some beautiful highs. We'll get a little cold front coming through on Thursday night. Uh, so we'll have a high of 70 on Friday, but look at this, boy, Tennessee, whole side of the mountain came down, got some houses got destroyed, and there you can see a kind of a, a, a pullback there of the picture, and they have, the rivers are just super high, so got to be careful out there. Folks, I hope you're having a great day and a great week. We'll see you guys later. Be the change you wish to see in the world and help us make our school and community a safer place for everyone. All students are welcome to join Safe Promise Club. They will be meeting Thursday, March 5th at 3.15 in room 403, Ms. Burles, Mr. Burlesman room. Safe students against violence everywhere. Promise Clubs are a place for young people across the country to show their leadership and creative and, and passion for protecting their friends, schools, and communities from violence before it happens. Hey guys, welcome to What Grinds My Gears. Um, what grinds my gears is when people correct me even though they don't need to specifically, but just let me speak the way I want to speak. If I say a word, if I say a word wrong, or I use it improper, just improperly, leave it just leave it be. Improperly. <laughs> one on one, <laughs> lesson one. Okay, Jaylee, what grinds your gears? <laughs> um, what grinds my gears is so. What, oh, dang it! What was I gonna talk about? Uh, okay, um, I was gonna change it, but I guess we'll just talk about the same thing. Um, so, um, I'm dating someone, and I go over to a said boyfriend's house, Sam's, and his sister and him both get jealous because they both want to spend time with me. So then they fight over me, but then the dog, I love the dog. <laughs> I love him very much. He is a cute Labrador. I love the dog. And so I give the dog attention instead of them, and they get mad at me. But, like, you look at this face. How could you say no? It's so cute. Like, date a man for the dog. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you guys for tuning in. What's grinding with our gears? What grinds my gears? Bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mrs. Elliott. I teach AP Biology, AP Computer Science Principles, and Honors Anatomy. I moved to Lake Placid after college and worked a while in the funeral business. There weren't any jobs there, so I had a biology degree and teaching was the, the job I could find here. 
I like to do a lot of real world stuff where we look at case studies and real things that are going on as far as science and computer science goes in my classes. And we also do a lot of group activities. AP Bio is a tough class. It's got to be a student who is interested in definitely taking bio courses in college and wants to prepare for that because there's a lot of studying that has to do, has to be done outside of class and then there's a lot of hands-on lab activity that has to be done in class. Computer science is a new subject for me. I wanted to bring it to the school because I feel like students need the knowledge. We're using computers everywhere. We're using the internet. I felt we needed it here. I'm having a good time. I have a good class that we're all learning about computer science this year because my major was biology. It was not computer science, but I think it's going well. We have a lot of fun and hopefully we'll have good results on the AP exam in May. They should sign up for my classes because they have interests in those fields. I do care as a teacher. I want students to learn. I care about my subjects and we are doing subject related stuff every day. So I put a lot of work into it and I do expect a lot of my students but there's a lot to be gained from being in my classes. In this week's sports, our tennis team will be going against Avon Park Thursday at 4.30. And on that same day, at 5, Sebring faces our softball team at our field. Another game of softball on Friday is Fort Meade comes to us at 5.30. And lastly, yet another game of softball next Monday as Frostproof comes for a game at 5.30. I guess our softball team isn't catching a break this week. <laughs> That's all for this week's sports. See you next Tuesday, and have a good week, Lake Placid High.